Riverfront property in Kingwood is now turning into the center of local evacuations. Those people living in the Forest Cove area are leaving their homes. KPRC 2's Gage Golding tagged along with some families who packed up what they could. He joins us live now, Gage. Yeah, you heard it from Frank and Mayor John Whitmire saying it best. The worst is yet to come. I want you to take a look at this right here. This is one of the roads that has water risen on it. Actually, it's impassable. And I want to put this into perspective. Just a few hours ago, literally a few hours ago, we were way down on the other end to film the story you're about to watch. This is how quickly the water is rising. We can't even get by in our lifted news vehicles that are kind of made for water to get through. So that's just one of the roads that is impassable. And it's the very reason why people that live back here and call this area home, they're packing up and they're hitting in the road. Well, my kids are the safety of my children. It's reason enough for Jill Sales to pack up the car and head out, leaving behind her home here along the San Jacinto River in Kingwood. And when you're up this high, I mean, there has to be some serious water coming to make you feel uncomfortable, right? Mm hmm. Because you can't get in, a, in and out of your house. And then once you go down the street here, there's a little bridge. And once that floods, you're, you can't get out. You're trapped trapped and surrounded by rising water. And for some people here to get the last things out of their home, this is how they have to do it on a boat right here because their house is entirely flooded. Water here actually coming up the steps. And here's the deal. It's going to keep getting higher. Typically it comes up about an inch an hour. I'd probably say this came up over a foot, foot and a half in an hour. This trip was to get important papers for their dogs who, along with many of their valuables, are already on dry land. How long are you prepared not to be at your house? Uh, never really had to look at it from that perspective because we always have access to the house. And typically, we'll stay here. And we haven't decided if we are or are not going to stay here. Meanwhile, down the already flooding street, the owner at the Cove Bar hoping for the best, but he's preparing for the worst. Anytime the river starts releasing water or the up upstream and stuff, we're always worried about flooding down here. We're just going to get all the electronics that we can out of the way and, uh, you know, go from there. Everyone here in the Forest Cove community coming together because really, they're all in the same boat, all hoping their life savings doesn't go sailing down the river. Just hope and pray. Hope and pray, and all eyes are on tonight in the next 24 hours here. All that water being released from Lake Conroe, it will make its way here over the course of the next 24 hours. You heard Frank talking about it. Tomorrow is the day that many of these flooding issues will be exasperated. And I